it's autumn in Denmark. And the green forest has now changed into beautiful red and yellow and orange. And it's just so amazing to walk around in the woodlands with a camera. I've been busy photographing the red deer. And one day I was out, the fog came rolling in and I just had these fantastic experiences with the red deer. I only got a few photos from that evening, but they were really nice. I haven't shared them yet, but I will. I also had the pleasure to be out photographing these amazing small cute badgers on this protected island, Vorsø. Time kind of slipped a little away from me, but I'm not done over there. I want to get out there in the autumn, in the winter, just to see them. I think it'll be too dark to photograph. But the forest, yeah, <laughs> I have to repeat myself, it is so beautiful. And I'm so fascinated about these sounds out there. So I've been out with my sound equipment to try to record it for a future project for this channel. a lot of blackberries around my farm and now is the time to pick them if I want to be able to make some jam of them this year. My little friend Björn, the dog, also loves the blackberries. So, look, all the blackberries. Uh, now it's uh, uh, once again September, and um, this is a perfect time for picking up these. So I can put some in the freezer and make some jam out of others. And my little friend here is very eager to uh, to taste the berries. So here's your, no no, every so often he gets one of the the one that has uh, that are a little old because they're very sweet and uh, soft. He's not so happy with the cows, but uh, he doesn't know they're behind the fence. But I love this time of the year. Look at these berries. Mm. I really love living on the farm with nature just outside my door. And that was also the reason why I moved away from the city and to the countryside almost seven years ago. Just being able to go out and pick up some apples and feed the cows and pick some blackberries and make my own jam. Small things like that just makes it different for me and I feel it makes me more happy. I don't really think Björn minds either. He loves just sniffing around looking for mice, even though he rarely find anything. At least he tries. The landscape up here is so beautiful. Trees, coastline, and just, yeah, it's fantastic. Now they're thinking about making a national park here, and I really, really hope that will happen.
Cheers. I'm just using um, some uh, snaps made from my friend here, close to where I live. I use this uh, instead of the poisoning thing you put in to uh, prevent it from getting moldy. Pancakes with the fresh honey from the bees and the jam from the forest. This is awesome. Yeah. As you have probably seen in some of my videos from this summer, I've spent a lot of time on that little protected island, Vorsø, where I've been following the badgers together with the scientist Susie. It has been so nice to see these beautiful mammals <laughs> playing around and from the game cameras we could reveal some of their secrets. When we found their set, we set up two or three cameras out there that would constantly send messages to our phones at home. So we're ready to set up the game camera here where the badgers are. The most valuable pictures and films we got from these game cameras were all the baby badgers. And we were able to follow them as they grew up. Unfortunately, I didn't get any photo of these this year because they always came out when it was too dark or when I was not there. But next year, I'm so ready. These days, I'm working on my little wooden office to make it more cozy and to make, like, make everything organized. I built some shelves and bought some secondhand furniture and then I just basically took all my stuff empty down on the floor and then I take everything and put it on a proper place. I really, really love this little wooden office and especially during autumn, winter and spring. This is where I spend a lot of time editing photos, editing videos, printing photos and yeah, just relax in front of the fireplace. So I can't wait to get this done and to share it with you. So, I'm uh, rebuilding my little office with some new furniture. I just went out to buy. I found this second-hand one yesterday and uh, I just didn't like all the white paint so I took most of it off and uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks. But uh, I think the whole thing in here, I'll wait to show you until it's done. It'll be done in about, I, th I think, a week or so and then I'll uh, probably give you a little presentation. It's time to have a look at the bees and hopefully to harvest this year's honey. There's not a lot of honey here. Ah, uh, <laughs> no. But there's bees. Okay, that's not a good. Every, not all the bees have, have left the hive. <laughs> <laughs> move this one so that we easily can. Oh, that honey, you? Yes. Oi, 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 oi. Ooh, look at this. That's a lot of honey. Mm. This is completely fresh honey and a little wax. Yeah. I was so excited to look for the bees yeah. and here you see the queen with the blue spot. Because almost all my bees died this winter, I was excited to see how the family did and it did really well. Now it was just a time to get out all the honey because nature is still full of flowers. 
and then the bees can once again fill up the hive with nice autumn honey. In the beginning I always used the big white protection suit with hat and gloves and everything. But the bees are very friendly and I figure out that they only sting when I squeeze them. <laughs> and I can actually understand that. Oh, this is really, really heavy, full of honey. <laughs> I have to get another one. That's 20 kilos. 20 kilos. Oh. Now it's just time to get the bees back in the hive. And then it's time to get all this honey on glasses. So here we are next to uh, what used to be a home for badgers but it's uh, clear to see now that uh, it's not used, at least not of a lot of badgers. Uh, take a look here. Um, that's uh, probably because either they have moved or they haven't had the small ones and I believe the last, last thing, because I haven't seen any activity out here, only from grown-up badgers. Um, and I can see on the other side, uh, there are little activity, look at this. It's hard to see on the camera, but uh, long story short, um, this is not an interesting place for me. The only thing I had the camera up was because I needed to see uh, if there were small badgers. And then now I know the location and I can put the cameras up next spring. Hopefully they will have cops. Maybe it's a young couple, who knows. But uh, I need to uh, pick up my game camera and then I'm going to go out to see if I can get a little glimpse of some red deer or roe deer. Um, even though the wind is a little challenging. But uh, yeah, let's get that camera to just up here. sure if it's a deer or what it is um, but I can see something brown it might be a stone but I think it's a roe deer but just get my camera and then I'm going to have a look I don't know if you can see anything <laughs> it's there vlogging here because now I just need to be quiet and then I want to spend the rest of the evening here waiting to see what happens so uh, yeah it's 
is now October, and the rotting season is over for the red deer. But I had a wonderful time photographing these beautiful mammals. The bees are also prepared for the winter, and I will not do anything with them before early spring. Now it's time to get back to the forest, get the tent up, do some bushcraft, and yet just enjoy the late autumn and the winter. This is a dark season that is coming to Denmark, but I love that just as much as the rest of the year. I'm looking forward to share many more adventures with you. See you out there.